start tonight with reaction from the local LGBT community and an employee of a nightclub very similar to the one in Orlando where that shooting took place. News Channel 15's Holly Campbell is live at Plymouth Congregational Church where a prayer service for the victims is underway. Holly. I'm live at Plymouth Congregational Church where a prayer service for those victims in Orlando is just getting underway. We've seen dozens of people walk in here to remember those victims and this is hitting close to home for many people, especially those in the LGBT community. Charles Miller has been an LGBT advocate for nearly 50 years and works at After Dark, Fort Wayne's Gay Bar, similar to the one in Orlando where 49 people lost their lives. As the stories kept coming out, it just got sadder and sadder. I don't think I've ever cried as much as I cried um, all day Sunday. Sad stories that hit so close to home. It scared me to death at first, and then I thought, I'm not going to let anything scare me. You know, I've been doing this so many years working in a gay bar. Miller says the outpouring of support from the community is overwhelming. Someone left flowers on the bar's doorsteps and another left a letter. And then this one came later and it says, tonight we stand with Orlando. Our hearts are broken. You did nothing wrong. Love wins. We love you. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's just, it's so hard for me to think about that because I've been through so much in the gay life myself and um, seen all the changes that have happened and uh, I just thought that was just beautiful that they uh, thought enough about us to do that. Miller says with so much hate in this world, he's choosing love. We can't live in that kind of fear and if we do, we're letting them win. I also spoke with Fort Wayne Pride uh, President Nikki Fultz, who is actually in Orlando on vacation. She told me that at Fort Wayne Pride Fest next month, there will be a moment of silence and extra police patrols. Reporting live downtown, Holly Campbell, News Channel 15.